Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name's Chris. I'm a videographer, photographer, and YouTuber. And I make all sorts of videos from product reviews to demos to how to's to just me sat here talking to you guys about my experiences. It is so good to be back. If this video helps you out, and I'm sure it will help a lot of you out, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I help you, you help me. Let's get into the video. So I imagine there are a lot of people who are working from home at the moment and trying to figure out how they can share their screen with their colleagues all around the world. So what I'm gonna be showing you in this video is how you can share your screen on Skype, on Google Hangouts, on Microsoft Zoom, pretty much any platform you can imagine that takes a webcam. Also, I made a video about a month ago showing you how you can take almost any Sony camera and turn it into a camera for live streaming using OBS. If you haven't watched that video yet and you're interested in how to do that, go and check it out. I've had a lot of questions on that video about how can I take that video feed and pump that into Skype or Google Hangouts or Microsoft Zoom. So I'm also gonna be showing that in the second half of this video. This is the timestamp if you wanna skip directly to that part of the video. Without further ado, let's jump on the computer and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So before we get started, I just wanna show you exactly what I mean so you can find out if you're in the right place, finding the right information, and it'll allow you to do the right thing, basically. So <clears throat> if you take a look at my screen, you can see that I've got um, Skype opened here and my video source is actually coming from OBS. Um, so if I move OBS out the way, you can see that I'm actually streaming this screen into Skype and we can do this with Google Hangouts and we can do it with Microsoft Zoom as well. Um, so that's this is the first part of the video. I'm gonna show you how you can share your display. So you will need two things to get started. You will need uh, OBS Studio and you need the 32-bit version not the 64-bit version. I tried it with the 64-bit version this morning and it didn't go so well so I would uh, highly recommend going for the 32-bit version and then go over to the other link in the description and it's for OBS Virtual Cam 2.0.4 just go ahead and download that. Once you've downloaded it double click it um, and just run through the wizard so I accept the agreement um, you can either have four virtual cameras or one virtual camera. I've got four virtual cameras um, just in case I ever need more. It's free, might as well do four. Just go to next and install. I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna be doing that. Next, if you haven't done it already, just set up what you want to be streaming in, within OBS. So I'm gonna add a new source. I'm gonna add a display capture. Um, okay, and we're not gonna add that one. We're gonna add that one. Yep, okay. So now this is what I would be streaming to Skype, Hangout, Zoom. Um, so that's working correctly. And then if your installation worked properly, if you go up to Tools and you click on Virtual Camera, and this is what you should get. Um, so that's started already because I've clicked Auto Start. You can turn that off if you want. You can start it manually, but I've got that as Auto Start. We're gonna use Skype in this example. So just go to Skype, go into the settings, go to audio and video, and as you can see, it's already taking the feed from OBS and it's displaying it in Skype. So I can move that window around, I can add in other windows, I can move stuff onto the screen, I can do anything I want pretty much. So if it's not showing up, you just need to go to this little drop down menu and you might have like an internal webcam or an external webcam or something else in that menu, but you just wanna to go to OBS camera one uh, because that's the camera that I've got selected within OBS. Hopefully that makes sense. So whilst I'm here, I'm just gonna show you how you can do this in Google Hangouts as well. Um, it doesn't seem to work in Opera or Firefox, but it works fine in Google Chrome. Um, and it's pretty much the same deal. All you need to do is click these three little dots. I'm just in a test call. Um, click those three little dots, go to settings, go to video, and then change the camera from Sparko Cam or whatever it says for you to OBS camera. And again, you can see, ooh, an infinite amount of screen. So with this, you can just share your screen with everyone who's in the conference call, or if you need to show a specific person, this will work perfectly. So that's the end of this little section showing you how you can share your screen with your colleagues all over the world via Skype and Google Hangouts. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, hit that subscribe button. And now I'm gonna show you how you can do exactly the same thing with a mirrorless camera or a digital SLR. So let's get into that. 
So this part of the video is going to show you how you can do exactly the same thing but using your Sony camera or your Canon camera or any other camera that you can connect to your computer and get a live feed like I've got on at the moment. So pretty much every Sony camera after the Sony a6300 will work. I know uh, using Canon EOS Utility you can get exactly the same thing from every single Canon DSLR. Don't quote me on that. I know it works with everything from like the 550D up. Um, so your 5Ds, your 6Ds, your Canon EOS Rs, all of those should work, no problem. All you need to do is get a live feed of what is coming out of the camera on your computer. So what you want to do is go ahead and get your OBS up and click the little plus button under the sources and we're going to go to uh, a window capture, not display capture. Press OK. And then you want to change this little drop down menu either to the Sony remote or the EOS utility, whatever program you're using to get the video feed from your camera to your PC, select that, press OK. And then what you can do again is if you hold the Alt button, you can resize that frame, get rid of all the options around the outside, and then you can make that frame bigger. There we go. And then we have the perfect output, high quality video feed that you can chuck that into Google Hangouts, Skype, or Microsoft Zoom. So I've brought the Skype settings back up, go to audio and video, and there you can see I'm there. I'm backwards, but I'm there. I'm sure there's a very simple way to flip that image around. I just haven't found it yet, and I wasn't really expecting this, so I'm not prepared for it. You can blur the background which is quite nice. So now I look like I'm in some kind of crazy studio with a green screen um, and it works really well, I think. So there you go. You get high quality video feed that you can then use on Google Hangouts, Zoom and Skype. If you found that video helpful, go on, do it. Press that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Thank you for watching and I will see you again very soon.